This video is to go through the pre-commissioning checks for your Grand Corona heat pump. These points are covered in detail during the installer training program with Grant, and this is just a guide to make the system operational in advance of the commissioning engineer's visit. There are three separate sections, the heating system, the electrical connection, and the controls setup. The heating system must have all the required components fitted into correct locations where required, like the volumizer, the mag one filter, the service valves, have the pipework fully insulated, have the condensation elbow drain piped away, and have the system fully vented. All components must be fitted in a way to allow future maintenance and servicing. Failure to do so will invalidate the warranty. Also, the commissioning will not be completed until rectified. If wall brackets are used, they should only be used with the 6 kW heat pump and any heat pump should be no higher than 2 meters off the ground to comply with health and safety and insurance requirements. On the electrical side, the heat pump should have a rotary lockable isolator fitted externally within 1 meter of the appliance and should not be fixed onto the heat pump itself. The 3 core supply should be connected from the isolator to the heat pump as shown. The 5 core fold free 0.75 square flex is connected as shown also. Internally, on the Grant wiring center, the 5 core fold free 0.75 square flex from the heat pump is connected as shown. Please ensure that the link wire from 39 to 44 is fitted. The power supply is connected into 31 and 32. Connect the heating zones as applicable into Zone 1, Zone 2, Zone 3 and Zone 4. These are 220-240 volt connections. Zone 5, if on a pre-plumb or airwave cylinder, will be pre-wired. We recommend not using timers for heating or hot water control, instead allowing the thermostats to control the heat pump. To turn the heat pump on, Press and hold this button for 3 seconds until the green light is on. The following symbols will be on the display pad when in heating mode. The digital cylinder thermostat needs to be activated initially by removing the dial, pressing the reset button underneath and then replace the dial. Next, turn the dial fully up and then fully down and then fully up. C5 will show on the thermostat screen when this is done and then set to 45 degrees. The design cylinder temperature will be later set during commissioning. If the heating system isn't properly vented, a P1 code may be displayed, meaning that there is air in the circulation pump. The simplest method to vent the circulation pump is to isolate the electrical supply, open the drain valve a little to release the air and then closing when cleared. Then open the internal air vent to remove any remaining air and then close when completed. Restore the electrical supply. Press this reset button to clear the code. Check the system pressure and top up if required. The glycol is added when these checks are completed, ideally with a filling pump to ensure thorough mixing. The heat pump will always give priority to hot water and once the cylinder is up to temperature, the unit will then concentrate on central heating. In colder conditions, when activating the heat pump for the first time, the house must be completely insulated and weatherproof. Set the room thermostats all to a low level to begin, generally to 18 degrees. One option for underfloor heating is to isolate all the loops opening one at a time and wait until this loop is up to temperature before opening the next. Repeat this sequence until completion. Another option for underfloor heating is to run the heat pump at a lower flow temperature initially. To do this, press and hold the star and the minus and plus buttons together for 3 seconds. Using the up and down button and the minus and plus button 
go to parameter 2102 and press the tick button to confirm. Adjust the flow temperature from 45 to 35 or 25 degrees Celsius or the desired temperature. Press the tick button again to confirm. To exit this menu, press the star, the minus and plus buttons together for 3 seconds. These and other parameters will be later adjusted by the commissioning engineer. If you have any queries on the content of this video, please contact us on the details on screen now. And thank you for watching.